Solar System, Dwarf Planet, Series Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It makes up 30% of the asteroid belt's total mass. It is heavily cratered and large amounts of ice underground mixed with rock and salt. It also has a huge volcano that likely once erupted with salt and mud, and a crater with prominent bright, salty deposits, suggesting the icy subsurface has erupted in the past and could still be active. Ceres was the first member of the asteroid belt to be discovered in 1801. It holds the honor of being the first dwarf planet to be orbited by a spacecraft. The Dawn spacecraft reached it in 2015 to study its surface, composition, and history. Ceres has something many other planets don't, water. This orthographic projection shows dwarf planet Ceres as seen by NASA's Dawn spacecraft. The projection is centered on a Cater crater, home to the brightest area on Ceres. A Cater is centered at 20 degrees north latitude, 239 degrees east longitude. This image was made from views Dawn took during its low-altitude mapping orbit, at about 385 kilometers above the surface. Roman name, Ceres, Greek name, Demeter, role in mythology, goddess of agriculture, grain crops, fertility, and motherly relationships. Ceres is named for the Roman goddess of grain crops and harvests. The word cereal comes from the same name. This image of Ceres approximates how the dwarf planet's colors would appear to the eye. This view of Ceres, produced by the German Aerospace Center in Berlin, combines images taken during Dawn's first science orbit in 2015 using the framing camera's red, green, and blue spectral filters. Ceres is shown in false color, roughly centered on a Cater crater, home of the brightest area on Ceres. This picture combines color images obtained by Dawn in its survey orbit. This picture illustrates the diversity of terrains on Ceres where the bluish material points to recently emplaced material and the brownish background material is associated with older terrains. Named after the Roman agricultural deity of the heroine. This simulated perspective view shows a Cater crater, measuring 57 miles, 92 kilometers, across and 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, deep, which contains the brightest area on Ceres. This region has been the subject of intense interest since Dawn's approach to the dwarf planet in early 2015. Dawn's close-up view reveals a dome in a smooth-walled pit in the bright center of the crater. Numerous linear features and fractures crisscross the top and flanks of this dome. Prominent fractures also surround the dome and run through smaller, bright regions found within the crater. The central dome area is called Cerealia facula and the dimmer bright areas are called Vinalia faculae. Ahanamons is not only a volcano, but also the tallest mountain on Ceres. It is about 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, high and 11 miles, 17 kilometers, wide. Ahana is named after the Sumi tribe, Nagaland, northeastern India, traditional post-harvest Thanksgiving festival. Ceres' lonely mountain, Ahanamons, is seen in this simulated perspective view. The elevation has been exaggerated by a factor of two. The view was made using enhanced color images from NASA's Dawn mission.
dwarf planet Ceres is located in the asteroid belt, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Ceres takes 1,682 Earth days, or 4.6 Earth years, to make one trip around the Sun. As Ceres orbits the Sun, it completes one rotation every nine hours, making its day length one of the shortest in the solar system. Ceres' axis of rotation is tilted just 4 degrees with respect to the plane of its orbit around the Sun. That means it spins nearly perfectly upright and doesn't experience seasons like other more tilted planets do. Earth Luna Ceres